right, everyone. Well, today's video is going to be about fixing my chainsaw. I have a steel MS 271 and had a little incident on my last outing uh, getting some firewood. And basically, long story short, I rolled a log off the bank onto the road and almost hit my truck it was like a six foot long log almost hit my truck but didn't thank god but it did clip my chainsaw and it actually what i mean by that it landed right on the handle and just blew my handle out um and with that this this particular saw and i'm, I'm pretty sure all the newer steels the gas tank is molded into the handle so it's all one piece i'll show you guys here so this is basically what happened here's the replacement part so the log landed basically right here and just blew it all up um, this is what's what it looks like right now so, so I went I went online and found on Amazon the replacement part, the whole handle assembly. It was $118, free shipping, and it came with a couple different parts here and a spark plug. And I'm not. I'm not a mechanic or anything like that. I don't work with engines and motors and I don't really mess around with this. So I have no idea what kind of spark plug this is as far as reliability and well-known brand or anything. Looks pretty generic to me. What I'm thinking is I'll probably just go to my steel supplier here locally and buy a spark plug from there. And since I'm gonna have my saw completely taken apart, I'm also gonna replace the, the the air filter. So with the new the new replacement part I got, it already comes. Uh, you probably can't see it, but there's a fuel filter in there already. And then here, are, so this is what comes with the new handle gas tank assembly. This spring here, which I'm assuming it's part of the shock absorbent when you're sawing, some sort of a filter of some kind. I have no idea what this is, but I'm sure I'll figure out once I take the saw apart. Of course, the cap. This little plug guy, I'm assuming you want to screw this to give you access maybe to one of the screws, I'm not sure. And then the spark plug that I showed you guys earlier. I earlier, I have no idea. Oh, can you guys see me? There. As I stated earlier, I have no idea what I'm doing. I did watch some YouTube videos, not on this particular model. Which is why I'm kind of stoked to make this video for you guys because I'm doing making a video that I haven't really found on on YouTube on how to take a MS-271 apart and replace the whole gas tank handle assembly. And so I'm just going to go slowly. Uh, the beautiful thing about getting everything on camera is we could always go back if you don't know where a part goes. But I am going to be a little bit somewhat strategic i'm gonna like for instance like my hardware i'm gonna as i'm taking things apart i'll leave it with the the pieces and i'll kind of put everything or set everything on my table from left to right and as i'm assembling everything back I, i'm gonna start from right to left as far as like you know nuts and screws and uh, hoses and springs or whatever else I need to take apart but so right now I'm gonna take my saw apart take the bar off the chain 
and start taking this sucker completely apart. Here we go. All right, so my saw is pretty dirty. I am gonna take advantage of this right now and clean some of these parts out, might as well. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, of course, you don't have to do this if your saw is already clean. But um, yeah, this is a good time to do it. Let's go. Going to use a little bit of uh, carb cleaner. All right. So first thing I'm pretty certain we got to take this top off which this will expose the air filter this did get cracked a little bit right here but for now I'm not going to replace it unless I absolutely have to uh, here's the choke but yeah we'll just see kind of what what it looks like once we open it up Okay, definitely looks like my filter needs some attention. Big time, wow. So I will definitely be replacing that. You know, to be honest with you, I'm gonna start up my uh, air compressor. It's gonna take a minute. I haven't used it for a little while, so it needs to build back up with air but I'm gonna blow all this out the best I can. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right. Okay, I think we're in good shape now. Okay. Next thing, I believe Let's take the handle off. All right, well, I try to do a little bit of research, but I can't really find anything so basically I need to remove this piece of plastic here so there's a little there's a little screw right there that's holding this handle in so I need to pull this little plastic piece out of here so that's what I'm going to do next okay right here yeah, it looks like I need to remove all of these on the pull guard. Okay. I'm going to put these back in here so I know where they go. Okay. Okay, is this loose? Oh, I didn't even have to do that. So it looks like this guy just slides out. You didn't even have to pull the crank out. 
the crank cover off. So what I'm going to do is remove the spark plug. Okay, there's that. So I've had this saw for three years. Spark plug has seen better days, but it still has a good good gap. Okay. And then this just slides up from what I can see. All right. And now this thing hard to tell but this guy goes right here and I'm assuming it's for like a quick access maybe not really sure what that's for so let me know it has a a sun in the winter so I wonder if winter time you're supposed to pull this out. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. If you guys know, will you let me know, please? This is actually pretty interesting. So let me know. Okay, there goes that. Now we can remove Put this screw back. This guy comes off from the bottom. Oh, and there's another screw. Could it be right here? See, there's a spring here, and that's connected to it through this guy, and I'm pretty sure you can just pop this out. Okay. this guy back in here okay really trying to figure out how I can pop this out Here's the handle. Okay. So it looks like to me that the tank is very, very loose. but there's definitely some things holding it together. So. Let me look here. So there's this little guy right here. Looks like I gotta take this, this guy out. And it should Slide out. I have a feeling that's this guy right here. 
Oh, sorry. This here is this right here, which is attached right there. So I will take that out. Well, it looks like it takes the smaller one. Like I said guys, I don't do this for a living. I have no idea what I'm doing here. No idea. But I do know. Let me put this in here so it doesn't. So this guy here slides right here just like that. So it shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too hard to slide off. There. There you go. Okay, so this little nipple here is over here and I have no idea how to loosen it except by taking these these little screws out and see what it exposes. I hope I'm doing this right. There, you gotta remove this guy. And I'm hoping I literally, all I have to do is just work it, work it out. I put a little pressure and push down on it. And now it's loose with the exception of the fuel line, which is right here. See that? It's all loose the exception of this little fuel line right there. Which I'm pretty sure, let me look at this one. That's that guy right there. And somehow, there's a little piece it looks like that tucks in there. So I wonder if that's something to do with this. I still don't know what this is. No clue at all. This came with the new kit. Slide this off. That's this guy here. Yep, I got it. 
There. Look at that. It was just this little guy right here. So now I'm going to put this in here. <clears throat> All right, that's in. Pretty sure that I need to remove this. Let me see if you guys can see this. See this little guy right here? This, as it pushes down, as it twists down, it pulls on the throttle. So I need to get this in my little trigger mechanism here. Okay, some, same thing, I just barely, I used a little bit of tension with the hard tool and I got the little tip of the throttle rod or whatever that's called into the hole and then it just clipped right in. Now we gotta put this thing back in. All right, now we have to reverse the process. I'm kind of wondering if I should have put the spring in spring in there before I put it all back together. So we'll find that out. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to use the spring because um, I'll rather use the factory spring, which is over here somewhere. This guy. I don't know. It fits. It fits perfectly. I'm sure it's made of way better material than this Chinese stuff I got. So I'll reuse as many factory parts as I can. Okay? So that worked good. That's right there. Let's put that bushing back over here. This guy. There. Boy, that went in a lot easier than it was to pull it out. Boy, I don't know if you guys can hear the wind out there, but it's just out. Let's put this cover back on. You'll want to hand tighten everything. Really, you probably shouldn't use any power tools. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everything's looking really good. Now this little guy goes right here where the spring attaches to the to the fuel tank. So, let's flip this around. This bad boy goes right here on the carb. And like I mentioned, you'll want to hand crank everything because you don't want to... Same with the ones underneath that I did. One thing right out of the get that I've noticed with this handle, it just pops right open. I think the factory one has a screw underneath. This one just has like these little like pinchers. So I'll have to put like a zip tie right here or maybe even a little bit of duct tape around it. Um, Cause just from the vibration of me using the the drill, it, this thing rattled open. I mean, you could tell I, I'm barely putting any pressure on it. So, so far, this is my only complaint. 
the the next big thing is hopefully this sucker will work so we'll see we'll see only one way to find out my wife's gonna be pissed it's past 10 o'clock at night but I really want to see if this thing is gonna fire up Curious to see if if the original cap will fit this one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use the the factory one if it if it fits in there, which is, looks like it should. Again, it just seems like a way more solid gas cap than than the Chinese made one. Okay. Please, please work, not leak. Beautiful. No leaks. No anything. Alright guys, I apologize for the horrible camera angles and everything else. My main thing was to get my my saw back in working orders, which obviously so far so good. Like I said, my only complaint is this thing comes undone crazy easy. And it's because the clips in there are just not tight enough. So I will use either some duct tape or, or um, a zip tie and maybe some duct tape over that. We'll see. Uh, we'll definitely need to replace my air filter. So yeah that's how you replace the fuel tank handle assembly on a steel ms271 farm boss i'm sure i made a million mistakes i'm sure some of you guys were just like cringing in the screen like ah, i wish i could just tell him how to do this and it'll be a hundred times easier or ah, don't do that but regardless this was my first time diving into a chainsaw and it's working and can't wait to fall some tamrack and get some more firewood for for our wood stove thanks for watching thanks for following along hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and please critique my uh my uh my fix and and reach out to me if uh, if you guys have any questions on your guys's fix thanks for watching